yet another eBay LED lamp because as long as they keep making new ones, I'll keep buying them. Uh, this is a short, fat G9 LED lamp with 20 warm white um, sort of miniature straw hat LEDs. Not 3mm or 5mm, these look 4mm. Anyway, let's open it. It was glued shut, but I cracked it earlier. So here's the inside. The only really notable thing in this is the, um, the circuitry is fairly typical, but the, the spacing between the tracks is just slightly creepy in here. Uh, the component ratings aren't that great voltage-wise. So here's a schematic. Um, nothing really special here. It's got the 47 ohm resistor coming in from the mains side, I should actually. That's the mains. Let's see if I can... Uh, I'm writing upside down, so I'll probably get this completely wrong. Uh, so that's the mains. Um, we've got a 47 ohm resistor, the bridge rectifier, uh, a 220 nanofarad capacitor as the limiting factor, with a really quite unpleasantly sized 8th watt resistor across it, which is really not rated to have the mains voltage across it. Um, it goes into a bridge rectifier, a uh, surface mount bridge rectifier, 1 mega ohm resistor across the output um, for discharging this capacitor, which is a 4.7 mega farad 400 volt, typical value because it's commonly used in compact fluorescent lamps too. 10 ohm resistor, uh, surface mount resistor, and then the chain of 20 LEDs. To save space in here, they have, this is the bridge rectifier, this is the uh, 1 mega ohm discharge resistor, and this is the capacitor. They've kind of sat the, the resistor on the, the circuit board, and then they've propped up the bridge rectifier onto its pads on top, and then sold the capacitor on top. So it's very odd. I've never seen a surface mount resistor used as a sort of intermediate like that between the pads. Um, so really, that's it. It's, um, it's a neat enough little lamp, but uh, it's starting to push the borderline of electrical separation and component rating.